All right, how's it going, everybody? This is Gotta Transform Mall. I have today this two pack and palm up card blister. I don't know. Uh, I mean, I'm assuming it's got to be just like a, a different foil, or maybe it's the actual hollow. I don't honestly know. Uh, I picked this off from local Target. This is just typical new version of this kind of product. You get two packs, a card, and the coin. Uh, this one features Quaxley. There he is. <laughs> uh, we're just going to test the luck, essentially, because anytime you've got just a two-pack opening, you never know how, if you're going to have anything. Because uh, as we saw in the previous video, unfortunately, you can open three packs and also not get anything. So hopefully between one pack or the other, there's something lurking in this two-pack blister. We'll go ahead and get this open. I'll have to look up maybe on the Pokemon Center website what they officially call this thing. I might just call it a Palmod 2 pack blister. <laughs> oh, there's a code card for it, interestingly. Alright, let's talk about the background first of all. Uh, I've got Shark Con and Bulbasaur here as always. And then the guy on the right is Cloud Cover. Uh, he is a, a Walmart exclusive figure from their little, like, G2 Universe subline thing they've got going. Uh, I keep wanting to call him Cloud Raker. I don't know why. That might have just been my mistaken impression of what his name was, but his name is Cloud Cover. I had to make sure to get that in my head before I went and recorded, so I name him the right, the right name. <laughs> uh, but let's, well, I zoomed in on my end. There we go. Okay. I don't know if that does anything for you guys on my end. It just suddenly makes everything bigger. <laughs> uh, but there's the Palmot card. It, it is a rare normally, so it would be hollow normally. I'll have to compare it to the one I've already got. Or maybe we'll get it in the pack here and we can just compare it then. <laughs> uh, but I'll have to compare it to the one I already have. Actually, ooh, you know what? I just had an idea. I'm actually right next to where I have all my extra cards. So if I just reach right to my left here and you're kidding me. I don't, there's no, okay. <laughs> so this is just a stack of extra cards. As you can see here goes Palmo Tadbold. I don't have any of the Palmo as extras. <laughs> Go figure. All right. Well, we'll find out later, I guess. Uh, but let's go to the code card and give that out. There you go. Two-pack blister palm out. So, yeah, just probably just call it a palm out two-pack blister. Uh, and then we have the Quaxley coin, which is the Quaxley coin. <laughs> Nothing else really to say about that. And our two packs are Scarlet and Violet Base and Taldea Evolved. Gold is the newest. with the Scarlet and Violet base. There's the code for that one. And our first pack, we have Fuecoco, Dorowsey, Nimona, Lechonk, Florgis, Greedent, Vivillon. We have a Tatsugiri. Pull up my reverses. Tatsugiri is not one I need. Oh, that's a Big pull right there. <laughs> that is a big, big pull right there. I I do think I've already gotten this. Uh, let me see, 251. I still need the regular full art, interestingly, but I have pulled this illustration rare. Uh, this is the Miriam special illustration rare. Oh, there's all the sparkles. I do believe this might be like the most valuable card in the set. I'm not going to take the time to look it up. I could very easily because my phone's right here, but that's going to take too much time to just try to get it to like TCG player or whatever for an idea. Uh, that is fantastic though. That is definitely a star pull from the set. <laughs> More than paid for the blister and then some, I am sure. So very awesome there. And then our hollow is the professor's research Turo version. 
but boy oh boy did that just make that opening <laughs> and make it also made up for the last opening <laughs> i'm actually maybe i should at the end look it up because i'm actually curious like what the price of it currently would be because i do remember it being like one of if not the most sought after card in the set but i'm curious like after all these other sets how much that might have fallen uh we have a knackley quick coco watch roll we're on to Palde evolve now tinka tink and kirchen zwilus we have a mousehold relor so let me pull up Paldea evolved relor is not one I need. Then we have a Garganackle. That is a rare reverse hollow, so that is awesome. 123. I just need Knackle stack. So Garganackle's a duplicate, but it's a rare, so I'll count that as a pull. And then our hollow is a Sableye. So I am definitely excited about this opening. <laughs> we got a guaranteed hollow slash promo, maybe, of Palmot. We had the reverse rare Garganackle. But then the star pole, like, no question, no doubt. The special illustration rare Mirio. Super, super happy with that. And I'm going to actually, uh, and you know what? You guys, you guys can click off the video if you're not interested, or you can go look it up yourself. I am going to look up the at least the TCG player price, because it's the one place I'm aware of that just has a simple price guide. I don't know if it's generally considered good or not. I use it as just a good, like, just a good, at least, uh, reference point. All right, let's go on about base. Let's see. Oh, wow, that is drastically dropped. <laughs> so from DCG Player, the Special Illustration Miriam is the most expensive card, but at a mere $25.48. That is a drastic drop from what I remember seeing it at. Uh, I'm still super happy. And honestly, seeing that drop... Also makes me happy that Scarlet and Violet Base is a completable set. Because I, I forget what crazy prices some of the stuff was going for previously, but... I mean, I, I have the most expensive card now, and that's, and that's only $25. So... Honestly, if I wanted to, I could just probably buy the remaining cards I'm missing. But I won't, because I know we're going to be opening up more Scarlet and Violet Base... And I'll, I'll be darned if I pull, if I buy a card, I may end up pulling. Like, it's one thing if I don't believe I'll be opening up the set anymore. Like, if I had, like, three cards left for something like Furious Fist, and that that's something I could go and do, because I don't believe I'll be opening up Furious Fist again. <laughs> Unless something happens and I get lucky or I just happen to find some more selling packs and feel like splurging. <laughs> uh, but yeah, anything currently printing and out there, I'm not... I, I try not to buy singles of. But the set list definitely helps if an opportunity comes to get something I am missing. Uh, but anyway, I have kept you guys long enough. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this opening. Stay tuned for more. Have a great day.